basement dwellers, hosted by your boy Jacob Santoro and Christian Talone. You're blabbering about unnecessary stuff. Cut it out. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, and get all the updates from the channel too. Tell me what your hand's doing over that button first. But for now, this loud shout and kick back, cause I got a fresh one right here delivered to your speakers. Lock in. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy 2023, everybody. 2020, wait, 20... Yeah, 2023. 2023, 2020 me. It's my year. It's your year. It's our year. Year of the uh, better podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even started drinking yet. Uh, it, is a, it is a glorious end to the 2022. What a great kind of, sort of, not really year it's been, but a lot of interesting things, a lot of good things. And no. get, check this out, guys. Look at this. Whoa. Look at this. <laughs> we have multiple camera angles now. Uh, don't ask us about where we got the money for that. We figured it out. We do gang shit to afford the shit that we are able to do. There's less people alive on the earth with how we got this equipment. <laughs> yeah, so don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't look at the back of your milk cartons is all I'm saying. Wait, that makes it feel like we kidnapped and murdered children. I don't like that. Oh. Only, only a couple. Only a couple. We're here uh, getting really nostalgic. We are having some uh, beautiful Sailor Jerry and Pepsi. Oh, mm. yummy. Back, uh, going back to 2015 when we used to live together. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> it's so disgusting. I, I honestly, I... I I get I get night terrors now, like just thinking about this stuff. Like you take one smell of it, and you you're you're like, it's not even that bad. It's not even that bad at all. I don't I don't even understand. It's it's fine, you know. It's it's not bad. I'm not gagging on it, but it's you know, there's better shit out there. Whatever. Oh, there I feel is. Like fucking flavor flave. <laughs> I know. You look pretty cool. It's hard to see you though, so it's like I have to turn my head completely. It's like there's no peripherals in these tiny little lenses. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I have blinders on. Yeah, <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine being twelve shots deep and wearing who? Who wears? Have you ever seen anyone actually? I've never been to a party where people wear shit like. This. When's the last time you actually went to a? I'm gonna. I gotta like scooch over a little bit to see you. When's the, <laughs> when's the <laughs> la- <laughs> When is the last time you actually went to a New Year's party party? <sighs> I don't even remember, dude. I mean, I don't think I really did anything for New Year's last year. Um, I don't know. I know that any New Year's party I went to, I don't remember it. I remember I, there was a <laughs> yeah. There, I remember uh, it was always when I was a kid. Like I feel like you remember having like parties when you were a kid, right? Like with your family. Yeah, I remember the Y two K one. That was cool. The Y two K one. You remember that? Yeah. I remember, like, my family was crying. <laughs> they were crying? <laughs> yeah. They thought the world was going to end. Really? Yeah. That's so sad. <laughs> Wait, so, like, did you guys have, like, a doomsday prep or anything? No. <laughs> what do you mean? We didn't do anything. <laughs> so, you just, so it was just the coldest day ever? We went to my tia's house, and we were just chilling there, and I remember everyone was like, oh, my God, everything's fine. Okay. Let's get drunk, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That, see, now it so goes from sad drinking to happy drinking. Yeah, right? That's a good time. Yeah. I don't really do anything either. I had a little get-together last year, but like, it's, that's all it is, is like get-together. Like, I've never been... I think I saw it in Euphoria. <laughs> it's like like Euphoria had like the... Um, had like a New Year's party, and I was like, yeah, no way does like that actually happen. That's how I felt a lot about Euphoria parties, though. Have you ever been to a party? Like, uh, do you remember like... Do you remember like those parties that you see in like movies? Like, remember... Do you ever see Word Science? long time ago or like i don't know animal house or like project yeah. x like have you ever been to a party of that magnitude before e- yes when in college no you didn't yes swear to god all the other art majors uh there was some art majors there was some film majors there was yeah <laughs> some thespians some thespians they were in there too yeah i bet that was that was a super cool party for sure it was it was interesting i again once again i don't remember it i was really really drunk i woke <laughs> up in someone else's house in yeah. a town i don't know yeah um and i remember it moved from like one house to another house because cops came what really yeah like we were at one person's house and then cops came and told everyone to fuck off and we left and when there was another dude who was just like let's just go to my house and it was like Two blocks away, <laughs> and you like was it like everyone's like scatter? It wasn't even like that. The cops were I, I, they know it's a college town, so they were pretty cool about it. They were just like, "All right, everybody, get home safe. Oh, oh, oh get back to your dorm." Yeah, there wasn't no paddy wagon or anything like that. <laughs> the paddy wagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, 
I really don't have a, a, an actual memory of like. A, well, no. Remember, remember when Courtney threw like a really cool. Uh, she th- she threw a really cool party. Remember that one year? Yeah, like, there was a lot of Dizar people there. Yeah, remember that was like during my DJ phase, where I was just <laughs> really obsessed with just being in charge of all the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was gross. <laughs> <laughs> And now you have all the stuff to be now a DJ. I have all this stuff. I know. Now, now I'm ready. Oh, you know, we might as well just do a cool plug on this real quick. Hey, you like how uh, it's only been, what, seven minutes and I fucked up the camera angles twice? Uh, we want you. <laughs> do you want to come work for no money and hang out with us while we record the show and uh, work with these cameras we have? Because this is a lot of effort. It's a lot. It's pretty intimidating. But it's pretty cool, though. I it feel is cool. I feel like I'm in a like a like a like a broadcast studio. There's even like an an on air button, which I thought was pretty sweet. I feel like I'm in a social experiment. What does that mean? Like the government, like put me in a room, <laughs> and they're just like, "All right, just be normal." And I'm just like, <laughs> "Okay." <laughs> yeah. I just feel like a, I feel like I'm in like a Netflix documentary, and they're talking about like my like my brother went on a murder spree. It's like we met up with <laughs> we met up with the brother of. I don't. I don't want to say my brother's names. But <laughs> we met up with Jacob, and his brother committed a five-person massacre. And it's just like you know, it's like oh, he was a normal kid, you know. And, uh, it's like it's like the different camera angles. You would have never thought that, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, Twenty twenty-three, man, doesn't feel any different. It feels like they're going by faster. Can't believe we made it this long. Remember, eleven years ago when we thought the world was going to end. 2012? <laughs> you remember where you were? On I December think after 20? 2012, I was like, anytime anyone says the world's an end, I'm just going to tell you. You know, there's been like up. an obscene amount of times that that's actually happened. I know. It makes me sad. Yeah, it, apparently, people... apparently Nostradamus just like predicted the world was going to end like 57 times, and it just mm-hmm. hasn't. So Nostradamus sounds like so now you're like just ready to live in shit. now you're just ready to live in full debauchery just because it's like whatever. It's not like we're gonna. Go anywhere anytime soon or what? I already feel that way, man. Nothing happens when you die. So oh, wow, this is a really cool party <laughs> we're throwing right now. Yeah, we've decided just to stay in instead of going out. Um, that's okay. I'd, <laughs> I'd rather spend this time with you, anyways, buddy. Again, get another cheers in here. I wanted to spend this episode talking about the best parts, the worst parts, and all the in between of this of this uh, crazy year. A lot of stuff has happened. A lot of production value into the show. What was I doing videos a year ago? I don't yeah, think so. Was, was I? Yeah. Because we're on, this is episode, this is episode 68, my friend. Oh, shit. What are we going to do for episode 69? I don't know. I just realized that. God episode 69 it. is just around the corner. I don't know. Um, Point is, I don't think that we've ever, I don't think we were doing video at the beginning of this year. So, and if we were, it was definitely really shitty. I definitely jumped a lot of corners. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I think that's a really cool progress. Um. Still haven't lost that much weight, which is kind of a bummer. You know, that's a downside, but you know, same you, dude. Got next I year. mean, you look great, actually. I disagree. Really? Remember that video? I showed you a picture of you. I showed you a video of oh, you. Oh like, yeah, I looked yeah. gross. Yeah, um, you were a big boy. What did I say? I was like, you look almost like me. <laughs> that was my. I, I don't know. It doesn't feel like I'm. It did for a while there. I felt like I was getting pretty fit. I have been going to the gym more. So you have been. But usually when I go to the gym now, because I'm just trying to not be fat, I just I'm like. Treadmill, stairmaster, bicycle. <laughs> you know, my grandma hooked it up for Christmas, and um, I got a, I got a pair of uh, AirPods, uh-huh. and I love those infinitely more. Yeah. And and maybe it's just me, like just going down the, or taking the red pill of consumerism. But now I'm just like, yeah, I love working out again. Like, yeah, <laughs> I love, I, I love these little earbuds. They're so cool. And uh, Christmas was, I mean, we already talked about Christmas. Can't complain about Christmas. But I was really looking forward to this. Thank you so much for humoring me to wear. Uh, the uh, glasses and the hat. <laughs> I just realized we never closed that window. Should I close it real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and close. I was wondering why that car. There was, did you hear that car was like hauling ass outside? It. I was like, who the <laughs> fuck? Keep him busy, Christian. Keep him busy. Um. Uh, <laughs> I'm really fun at nightclubs. Yeah, that's. Yeah, we're going to compile that for the cringiest moment of 2022 right Fuck. there. All right. Yeah, that was a nice dance move right there, Dad. <laughs> oh, buddy. I do feel older. I'll tell you that. We're almost 30. <laughs> uh, we'll be 30 in 2025. 20, I don't like odd number. I don't like odd number New Year's. This 2024. Like 2025. I'm 28. And when will you be in? I'll be 29 this oh, year. Oh, yeah. It's 2023. Sorry, man. So, Yeah. Ugh. See, I don't like that. I, I don't like the fact that I'm not going to be on a five or a zero for my birthday. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't like these weird numbers for New Year's. Like, like I remember like 2010, 
2020, 2015, like 2025. Like those are gonna be cool New Year's, but 2023 doesn't feel like much. I'm no. so I am sick. Nobody likes you when you're 23. No one does. No one does like you when you're 23 or 24, five, six, seven, or eight. From what I've learned uh, in the last few years, uh, no one also likes you if you're an asshole who consistently pops off fireworks at like 6 p.m. on December 31st. Yeah. I can't stand it anymore. Were you were you a fireworks family? Uh, no, we were never like. We were never shooting like rockets in the air. We do like the little fountains and like the poppers and like the sparklers and shit. I remember one time I singed my eyebrow on one of those things. <laughs> on, a, on a sparkler? Yeah, I looked like right at it. Yeah, I remember um, my ex's son one year for, uh, I don't know if it was New Year's or Fourth of July, but he had a sparkler and he straight up just like pointed <laughs> at his face and like. It just went in his eye. <laughs> it was like his eye and his nose like were burnt. It's something so frustrating about kids that just do dumb shit and then you get. It's what what'd you think was gonna happen, man? It's fire. We all dumb shit. We talked about that on numerous occasions. All the dumb shit we did as little, even little babies. I grabbed a light bulb with my bare hand when I was. An I've infant. done that. Yeah, there was a big fat blister on my I've hand. I've grabbed a curling iron before. Oh. Uh, I else? stuck my hand into. Super hot water the other day, which I guess isn't the exact same, but scared the shit out of me. I still do <laughs> dumb shit, man. <laughs> oh, guess. Andrew Tate got arrested. Saw that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Did you hear, do you hear about the whole story about the like pizza how got, box? Yeah, the pizza box, dude. So this guy is getting easy. Like him and was it? What's her name? Greta something. Greta Thum- Thumberg. Thumberg. Sure. And they're like, got it's so crazy. <laughs> like like because of Twitter, people are out here getting raided, and what he his response video. So they're going back and forth. That's the whole reason he got fucking snatched up is because he had to make a response. Yeah. Fuck, man. To a fucking... How old is she? She's like 15 or something? Oh, she's 19. I did look that oh, up. Oh, she's old now. No, she is 19. Well, because he... So I saw the, I saw the, I saw the, the Twitter responses, and uh, they were going back and forth, and then someone was just like, I don't know, some weird, cringy alpha comment about like just... In, like like di- like Dick and Greta down or something like that, oh. and then like he responded like she isn't ready or something like that, and I was like, oh that's weird. And then I looked it up and said oh, she's she's nineteen. So but so she <laughs> responds with just some like you know your pee pee small kind of shit. Yeah. And then hey, did you see his response video? No. Dude, the guy had like a super silky robe. I, first of all, this guy also rocks the gayest like <laughs> like just outfits. I mean, yeah. like super tight. You know what I mean? Like oh just yeah, yeah, yeah. Very like very silky, like fine robes. You know? Yeah. But he's sitting at like his oak desk, right? And then he's he's like got his feet up <laughs> and he's just eating pizza, and there's the pizza box. So and then the Romanian government was like, oh, I guess he is still here. So we're just gonna. <laughs> Got his uh, ass, dude. Whatever, fuck that guy. That's like the that's like the kind of shit that like a crackhead does to like accidentally get put back into jail. You know what I mean? Like that's the kind of shit that like a dude gets out and then a day later goes back in for like armed robbery of a. <laughs> He's out though, so so apparently they were trying to um, keep him. But it was only like a day thing, so he's back out. But now he's posting like again, just red pilled shit. Like, uh, if if they kill Life me, on the inside. if they kill me, just know I love you guys. They're like, Shut yeah, the I know. I'm up. like, dude, like you're so fucking stupid. But apparently, they went from human trafficking to now they're trying to bust him on, um, l- money laundering. I believe that. You believe it? Oh yeah. They're I just... feel like money laundering is a lot more prominent in big businesses and. IPs than people really realize. It's not that hard to do. Yeah, like everyone's doing it. You know. Yeah, dude, it's so easy to just hide your money. Like all you have to do is just ha- somehow get it in cash and then give the cash to someone that can give you like not cash. I'll tell you this much. <laughs> if anyone's looking to use us as a money laundering system, I mean, we uh that I would be you know, pretty appreciative of that. <laughs> I could sure use some more income for this goddamn thing. Oh my god, some more thing. We got our first Patreon subscriber, by the way. Oh uh, yeah. Mr. Cruz, you rock, my friend. Thank you so very much for supporting the show. We have our first basement baby. First awesome. basement baby. Very he did, uh, could have swung for the bay, but you know. You know what? He hey, it's you know, all right. times You're are the tough. First you one. Know, inflation, it is what it is. You know, we're at seven percent inflation over the year, which you know we're doing a good job on that. Didn't want the dick pic, apparently. Yeah, I didn't want the dick pic. I want the dick. I might have to subscribe so I can get a dick pic. <laughs> you know, but thank you very much, Cruz. You person, you get a personal shout out on New Year's. What an excellent way to start the year. Thank you so very much for your continuous support. He is a super fan. He has been listening since episode one. Does give a lot of feedback on every single episode. Very good guy. So thank you very much. And uh, 
For anyone else who's interested in supporting these two silly guys and what we do, that's patreon.com slash uh, Basement Dweller Productions. That's all one word. And um, you know what? That was my that was one of my re- uh, New Year's resolutions, and I did it before the New Year even happened. You did, man. Honestly, I, your hustle for this whole production is kind of insane. It yeah, is it, insane. It, it's, it, I do think it, it is pretty clinically insane at this point because there are people who are definitely way more popular on, online than that we have are. have way shittier setups. <laughs> way shittier. I feel like I'm acting like a rich kid right now, where like it's just like my product it's, is. I mean, fucking man, give a guy a dream and a credit card. Holy shit! Oh my god, shut your mouth! <laughs> I'm gonna get so in trouble on Friday. <laughs> By who? My mother. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nah, man. I mean, this is all I care about. This is the only thing I do. Uh, this is the only thing I think about. Anyone who who knows me, I mean, it's it's the only thing I want to ever talk about. And there's so many things I want to do with the show and keep going. I'm super happy about this whole. If you guys, this is see, this is sick. If you guys could see what we see right now, um, let's just say that 2020 Jacob would be very um, happy right now. I remember, <laughs> I remember uh, when Papa Joe gave us our first Stimmy checks, and I got my first little Mac computer and a and, uh, and our Roadcaster, and I was like, "This is the 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 peak. This is this is it. Like we're doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're living the dream. And look at me now, three years later." It's yeah, hard man. to believe that I've been doing this show since uh, the end of 2020. Shit, it feels that it gets crazy. I mean, you think about it. We're almost. I, at remember, I remember. We're on the being... we're on the later half of a, almost 100 episodes. Ah, yeah. isn't that crazy? Yeah, we're halfway there. And we've been doing good for the most part. You know, sickness happens, family emergencies happen, holidays, whatever. I I do travel every now and again, so we have missed a couple weeks, and we appreciate you guys being so patient with that. But I'm really, you know, I'm really proud of us. Me too, man. And, this, and, is, and I, and, this is really sick. And I think this is a cool transition into, I would like to say, you know what? Maybe you could agree with me. If you have a different answer, please tell me. But I would say my favorite thing that I did this year was continue with yeah, this. Man. I, I think that there's there's a lot of people who, how, I mean, how many people a day you would you say even have this idea? I mean, like you had, uh, there's a bunch of dudes just like us, you know, just like, we should, we should start a podcast, bro. You know, like we've definitely made the joke even before the podcast was a thing. So it's like, yeah, man. I mean, the fact that you're really sticking to it. I mean, that says a lot. Yeah. And so that you're obsessive and way too obsessive, stubborn and <laughs> bad with money and horrible <laughs> with money. It's a return on investment, ladies and gentlemen. It, it hopefully is. So, if not, then you could sell this shit for a small fortune. So. <laughs> uh, stop making it seem like <laughs> he's over here thinking like I'm going to go live in a barrel suit. Like I just, I'm going for no, broke here. I just, no, I just, it's, it's, it's good. It's a lot. It is a lot. It is a lot. Yeah. You know, so we just got to make sure we do right by it all. You know how cool you look? Because I know that you're obsessed with looking at that monitor. Like, you're looking straight ahead and not at me. And I know it's because of the depth perception. But uh-huh. it's like, you look like a famous person. Like, you know, like a person that looks like... like it's just like, I'm here with Kodak Black. You know what I mean? And like, you just, just, like, like it looks like he doesn't even want to be here. So you're just like, yeah, man. I mean, but you're looking like straight ahead. So it's like, you're just like, yeah, man. I mean, like, whatever. It's just <laughs> like, you know. But the light's catching you just right. So you can't even see your eyeballs. So it's like, yeah, like okay, yeah. they look pretty dope. <laughs> okay, cheap answer aside, uh-huh. of course I'm going to say the podcast, but maybe you can go first. Christian, what was your favorite thing that you accomplished this year? Oh, man. You know, I think I'm really happy with... Oh, you know what? I'll say that. I think my favorite accomplish, uh, accomplishment that I made this year, which wasn't really one of my accomplishments, you kind of accomplished it for me, <laughs> was uh, getting into tattooing finally. Yeah, man. That was something I've always wanted to do, and I think now that I'm doing it, I'm like slowly getting better and too tattoo strong, man. Professionalism ain't too far away. That's so right. I'm happy with that. Yeah, just keep at it, my friend. That's all you got to do is keep at it. I got uh, the got. Oh yeah, I got. Um, there it is, right there. <laughs> it's a good piece. That's my. It's one of my favorite ones I got this year. Um, <clears throat> yeah, man, I'm really proud of you for that too. Um, okay, if I don't say the podcast, mm-hmm. okay. I knew that we might be having a couple ups and downs on this episode, but if I may be so, uh, so personal, I would probably say that my favorite part of this year or something that I accomplished this year was I've been going to therapy consistently Mm -hmm. and I did not let my previous relationship get me down like the previous ones before it. Good. That's great. I uh, have always been a sad sack, sad boy when it came to relationship problems and this one was really hard for sure, you know, mm-hmm. longest relationship I ever been in. And, you know, I had to move back in with the mom and 
it was stressful, but uh, I did exactly what I said I was going to do, which was work on my, you know, on my mental health and work on the show, and I'm doing it. Uh, I haven't been drinking that much, as we have Sailor Jerry, um, <laughs> but I really only saved drinking for, like, this show, so that's pretty cool. So Yeah, what, everyone's what? drinking a lot less now. It's kind of bumming me out. Why? <laughs> because now I can actually go out and drink. And you don't go out. I can, though. But you different. don't. You're right. Yes. Not by myself. No, but you never. That's what even, I'm saying. I can't go out but with you don't my even, friends because my friends don't drink as much. No, but anymore. you don't even insinuate. You don't even insinuate like to go out and do that. What do you mean? You never. Very seldomly have you ever texted me like, "Let's go out for a drink." What you say is, "Do you work tomorrow?" And then I say no, and then and then you're like, "Oh, come over, and let's get." <laughs> and you're like, "Let's get hammered," which I'm like, that doesn't sound fun. Anymore I don't me. say let's get hammered. Yes, you do. Let's yes, get you hammered. Do. Christian, yes, you do. Are you serious? I've never said you hammered. make it sound like you make it sound like we're still in college. Sometime. I just say let's get drunk. Okay, but like let's get wasted. No, I never say hammered. Let's have let's have a few. Let's drinks. get hammered. We're almost thirty. Let's have a few <laughs> drinks, right? I'm fine. I just like to be drunk sometimes. Anytime, anytime you want to, you let me know. All right. <laughs> well, I'll tell you no if I don't want to. Not but I'm just gonna. saying. I would love to go out with you. You just never want to go out. That's the only thing. And I'm not a huge fan of drinking at my house anymore. Makes me sad. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a little more of that. You want some more? Let's, re- let's reload a little bit. Got the tongs? Nope. Some some good quality content, everybody. I hope uh, by the time this airs, it'll definitely be next year. Um, but uh, if you are listening, and hopefully you're not driving to work when I say this, but go oh, ahead and God. have another drink with us. <laughs> I know, it's all melted. Yeah, we, That did not last long at no, all. No, it didn't. We essentially... Oh, one of my necklaces broke, too. We uh, we got a couple ice cubes out of there. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, just <laughs> cool. Let's load up some beautiful Sailor Jerry. Oh, God. Remember that fateful night? Uh, when I couldn't hang? When you were puking? Yeah. And, and I called you a pussies? And you wouldn't, you wouldn't save me at all. You would not help me at all in the slightest... A real man lets another real man fight his own battles. Just throw up on my floor? Yeah. Why'd you do that? Stupid. Why is it that? How is it that you don't puke nearly as much as I do? Because I can hold my shit down. I feel like you can't, I, though. I feel that's like not you, true. I feel like what? you do. In- I could get really drunk. Don't get me wrong. I'll get sloppy as shit, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hurl. Ugh. I got super sloppy the other week, and I like went to a bar, and I just fell. I fell off a bar stool. It was <laughs> so fucking embarrassing. Oh, my God. Remember when that happened to me in my dad's retirement? Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't cut me off after that. But that annoys me, though. So can we talk about that for a second? Because <laughs> that is what... Remember the time we went to Saddle Ranch? And yeah. Like, yeah. I also noticed I was listening to a couple of old episodes. You know what we do a lot? What? We're just some member berries. Oh, we just keep talking about... Like, <laughs> the past. Remember this time? Remember this time? Yeah, we went to Saddle Ranch, and you weren't even that drunk. I was like three beers in. Yeah. And then I slipped on a napkin that was on the floor. And they were like, hey, man, you're still like, you got to go. And I was like, I didn't even, I'm not even drunk, bro. Like, I just slipped. He was like, yeah, you know, it's, you know, you're stumbling all over the place. You got to go. And then I was like waiting outside with you guys. <laughs> you like, had to over wait that outside. Wall, we finished our Over that wall where you guys finished your drinks and they were like, oh, yeah, you can't uh, wait right here because they might be handing you drinks and it's illegal to drink right here. Oh, my oh. God. Some of the, some of y'all Suck take my that. Dick. Yeah, some of y'all takes your job way too seriously. Seriously, I just I think they just didn't like the looks of me. I think you got to really look at the person though. It's I mean, it was Saddle Ranch. I mean, look, and I, I'm brown. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so the only <laughs> they're like you're not white enough to walk in the straight line. They have like the they have the sign, they have the they have the the color the color I know, tones, the yeah. color palette. Yeah, get this guy a Modelo or something. I don't know. <laughs> I remember that night because we were at... Just, uh, hey, buddy, salt tacos and tequilas down the yeah, fucking alley. That's where we started, right? We started at Salt. Yeah. And I remember we bought those two 32-ounce beers, and they were like $18. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. And I remember we ordered those, but it took a forever It took forever for us to get them. And uh, by the time we got our drinks, the girls, like who, everyone we were with, because it was, it was, you know, Courtney, Kaya, um, uh. who else? Dallas... Nikki, I think, was also there. No, no, because she wasn't twenty one. Anyways, it was a couple um, people. Yeah, it was a couple people, and um, I remember they were ready to go, and I wasted that. I had like two chugs. I can't chug beer. There's no secret. I, you know, anyone who knows me is I just I can't do it. Um, you on the other hand, like I remember being like, okay, like let, all right, we're gonna go, and I, I'm about to turn around and be like, sorry, buddy, we gotta go, and I and he's already just 
<laughs> oh yeah, dude. I never leave any beer in my cup when I leave a bar. As even quick if, as you have to. Even if it's like a pitcher, like I'll fucking down that pitcher real quick. What is the quick. secret? You just gotta loosen up the throat, cup the bulls, dangle the shaft. <laughs> just gotta get a little. Uh, no, you really just have to like loosen up your throat and just kind of like almost not inhale it, but kind of just like you know almost like that without yeah. choking on it. I mean, and I do. It just flows down, dude, and it's like you just have to breathe every second, and you're fine. I do believe that you know tonight <laughs> is the night that you know every year that you can kind of just like, this is a drinking holiday. That's yeah. it. Mm-hmm. I really don't understand. Like, I really want to know. Like, I want to meet someone who is like, this is why you celebrate New Year's for this and this, but like new beginnings and stuff like that. But what does that have? To, I, I've always wondered what that had to do with drinking. Personally, I feel like back in the day, in the or the twenties or whatever, it's like you had champagne. Because it was just like a like a fancy occasion, you know? Now, if you say, if you're like, Jacob, we're going to go to like a Gatsby party where mm-hmm. there's just like champagne and like nice drinks, you know? I can get like a fucking Manhattan. Yeah. And I had, why did I say it like that? Manhattan. Manhattan. Hey, I get a fucking Manhattan and a fucking hoagie sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but if you tell me like there's like that's the option, then it's like always. Like I want to dress up though. Mm-hmm. That'd be fun. No, should, I would love to oh, dress up for should that party. next year. We should do what? that. You want to host a Gatsby party? No. Why? It's actually funny because like me and uh, Kendra were actually talking about that. Like, I'll dress up for a party if we're going somewhere somewhere fancy first. What do you mean? Like, if we're gonna go have dinner at a fancy restaurant, then I'll dress up, right? And then I'll come back here and drink in my dress up clothes. If I'm gonna dress up in a tuxedo just to hang out here in a tuxedo, that's a bummer. <laughs> but not if there's like a bunch of people here. I disagree. I think that's still a bummer. Really? Yeah. Not even for the fun of it. How fun is it to hang out in uncomfortable well, not clothes here. Okay. in no, a that, tiny That's condo. fair. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. <laughs> I do believe location, location, location. But I'm saying like, you remember when you guys had like that idea of like the, of like the, um, like the reunion party? Yeah. Not with like 50 people, but like 20 people. No, I, I think our list got to something like 70 people. 70 goddamn people. Yeah, we did, were like talking about like renting out like a space, like a, like a fucking ballroom somewhere or something. Did you guys ever get to like... It didn't get very far. No, but I, I mean... I reached like, out to a few people because most of our... I mean, it sucks, but like a lot of our friends aren't even in the state anymore. Yeah. So I was... Also, by the way, shout out. I'm so... So we... I was so... Can we talk about how awesome uh, last week's episode was going to be? Can we talk about how, how awesome that we were going to have our buddy Jesse on? Yeah. Uh, that broke my heart. My man, he's in Michigan? No clue. See, somewhere in the Midwest. <laughs> uh, and um, the the storms have been absolutely insane in the membrane in the Midwest. And due to that, he was not able to travel. And I was so disappointed by that because I would have loved to have that guy on. Yeah. Because um, you got to keep in touch with your friends, you know, out of state. You know what I mean? You got to, you got to, you know, something. You know, I almost moved to Utah officially uh, for a job that I didn't end up getting, but that's a whole other can of worms. Oh, well, um, my first priority was just like, how am I going to keep in touch with you and the yeah. girls and, and my parents and well, you know, my mom and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, man, I think that's important. And I was so excited and it's a shame. Shit happens. Things you, get in the way. You know what another, you know, what, back in time you know what another soon. goal for me is huh. more guests. Yeah. I want more guests. I want I want more people on. I want more comedians on this year. I want more uh, musicians on. I think this year we should also commit to doing all the bits that we've been talking about. Oh, for sure. You know, we've been ta- we talked about like the what was it that we were gonna do like like a trivia night and we're gonna do a trivia night. We're gonna do the love connection episodes, we're which is also such a solid idea. Dungeon dwellers, which thanks to you for my Christmas presents, <laughs> were pretty much there (laughs) i gifted christian this year for the holiday season everything he needed to run a dungeons and dragons campaign i got him all the books i got him the screen i got him the dice um so that is definitely something that uh i'm very excited to say that that will be uh starting up for sure um i would like to do a test episode just to see how it goes for sure um yeah but that's something that will be available on the Patreon as well. If you are a fan 
of uh, Dungeons and Dragons role playing. You know, I mean, like anything else, uh, we'll be drinking. Or if you just uh, want to see a bunch <laughs> of adults play pretend in a room together, which like. who doesn't? I mean, how many of you out there have honestly? You know, it's just like when the dudes that look exactly like us are like, we should buy a bar. Do you think we should dress up? Yeah. Oh, uh, I I would. Yeah. I have a wizard hat. You do have a wizard hat. I have to. You know what I want to do? Here's another resolution. Uh, when we do Dungeon Dwellers, Pat and Penny, uh, <laughs> I really, 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 really don't want to be a bard this time. Don't uh, be a bard. I'm and so the first person, the first person that says that I want to be a rogue, you're done. You're no, you're not done. No, you're done. But Log I'm not. Out. You're not going to be a rogue. I'll tell you that yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, the first person, the first person that's just like I hope no one else is the the elven rogue archer. Oh, yeah. It's not going to be you. Not that's you. for goddamn sure. You have definitely first missed person out on that. that says it. It ain't you. Yeah, it ain't you. Ain't the you ain't that guy. Everyone wants to be the little s- sleek, fast ninja guy. You know what I want to be? What do you want to be? I, w- I remember that. Was it you that gave me the idea for the Professor X character? Where it's <laughs> like, so I had this, I, I didn't, it's not my idea, but I was really dwelling on it for a while where it was, um, so like, it's a wizard uh-huh. class. I don't know what race it is, but I'm in like a wheelchair essentially. And I just oh, like Professor X it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like, I have no like <laughs> dexterity. Not a lot of strength. I'm literally just specked out in wisdom and He's intelligence. He's a cripple with magic powers. Yeah, and I just am a straight <laughs> up wizard, and I thought that'd be really funny. And like, because there's no technology in D and D, and I will stick to this till I die because I'm still fucking pissed off at the fact that I got a text from you one night. Uh, you could get guns from the future. Uh, in that game, if you make it so. Uh, here's the here's the data sheets. Uh, and uh, I got I. It is. It's like it doesn't in the matter. Thing. That's not what we're doing. I don't want that. <laughs> I'm playing fantasy for fantasy, right? But yeah, I like I, to mean, ha- I it, like what? I've got a I've got a couple like campaigns. Not well, one of them I've got like halfway fleshed out. Um I've got a notebook full of ideas. Um and that one's going to be like Lovecraft themed, right? Pretty cliché, but it'll be cool cuz I put a lot of mind fuckery in there. Um, and then I have another idea, which I just fucking, oh, it was going to be like, like angels and demons type of thing. Like kind of almost like Diablo type shit, you know, like you're just kind of caught in the crossfire of like different, you know, angels and demons. You have to make oh, yeah. packs and deals with different. Hell yeah. Yeah. I think it would be a really cool one. And, uh, but you didn't I even think, let me finish my idea. I'm sorry. You do that to me all the time. Shut up. Come on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just say, I think for the first like run of dungeon, the first campaign of dungeon dwellers, we're probably just going to do a pretty bare bones, like, you know warriors wizards and magic you're talking pretty ballsy for someone who might lose their camera one privileges is all i'm saying i'm just saying so far i'm just saying so far this is my favorite camera angle right now you're talking to me like i can't just make sure you don't get any any (laughs) airtime. that's it that's why that's why you wanted to control uh, bailiff remove camera like no 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 no." (laughs) he's gonna gonna fight over it (laughs) anyways after i was rudely interrupted uh I want my favorite part about that character is that I want to I want to communicate telepathically, uh-huh. but I still want it to sound like this really bad. <laughs> I thought that would be really funny because like I, I can't even talk, but like even in like the astral plane, like I'm still like I think we should go to the tavern. <laughs> you know what I mean? That'd be really fun. Just be I want to. I've always you know wizard. you know how it is. I've always been the guy that does like I've always done like the voices and like yeah. The, no, I mean that's the part of the deal. If we do dungeon dwellers, but hold on, you got to fucking. Commit. This is the New Year's episode, but we kind of we should probably dedicate just a couple more minutes to some some D and D etiquette, right? Uh-huh. Let me just sure. say. So can I say my first rule? Go. Cool. Don't be an asshole. That's my biggest thing. Like, I, I can't handle, and I'm sure everyone out there agrees, there's always that guy who just shows up and he's just like, I want to go slap the bar, the barkeep. You know what I mean? Can't handle that, right? If it's not within your specified character nature, don't do it. And any reasonable person, even a villain, is not going to walk into a bar and bitch slap the bartender. Right. <laughs> so play... You may have autism in real life, but don't <laughs> fucking don't fucking do that on the on the yeah. game board is all I'm saying. Number two, don't be a creep. I have been a part of so many games where it's like <laughs> some dude and like, you know how most dudes are where they're just like, that's a girl, you know, and then they like they try to like finesse the girl in the game, you know? Yeah. Like, I think me and the uh, the elvish archmage over there should go on a. And the weird thing about that is it's the DM who has to do all those npc personalities so yeah. it's like you're flirting with me dog 
<laughs> oh my god. You know, you're trying to get in my panties now. What was that story that you had about when you were in college? Uh the oh, the gay guy. Oh, please tell the story. We played a game and there's this <laughs> It was my roommate who was a, a theater major and his thespian friends um, came over for a game of D&D and he was a sorcerer, something like that. But he had like really good like hypnotism abilities, right? To the point where he was just like, it's like, it was a done deal. Like if you chose to hypnotize someone, yeah. right? It was really good. And um, I remember like they like came up against like a cave or a dungeon or something and there was an orc guarding it and he was like i want to hypnotize the orc and then he was like okay so they dm like rolled and everything for him uh, you know how that goes um and then it worked and he was like what do you want to do with the orc he was like i want to make out with it <laughs> and i want him to be my little sex slave and then he was just like <sighs> so look let's pause for a second <laughs> let's pause for a second it's a tad frustrating it's a little frustrating because you know in in day to day life, unless you're fucking Jeffrey Dahmer, like you're not, I'm not gonna, you know, I want to make this thing my sex slave, whether it wants to or not. But I'm sorry, I, I'm telling I'm telling the story. You go ahead, continue. Um, yeah. So that's what happens, and then he like keeps the orc with him for a while, you know, and it's following him around to the point where like he pretty much broke the entire dungeon because the orc knows everything about the dungeon because he guards the dungeon, you know. So then he would just be like. Well, the DM would be like, all right, you guys come across three doors. <laughs> One of them has what you seek. What are you looking for? And then he's like, you know, roll to investigate, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then <laughs> the hypnotist guy would just be like, hey, babe. Hey, babe, what's, what's the right door? <laughs> and then he'd See, just be like, he's like, are you asking the orc? He's just, yeah. Hey, babe. Genius. What's behind that door? Genius. Yeah. Oh, it's genius. So like again, like like I love that it was a ah, oh, come on, dude. And it was. Then, it was. Yeah. You and got then one over on the fina- Yeah, you got him. Like yeah. you. That's good. <laughs> that was a good one. So if it goes somewhere, sure. But I have just been a part of so many games that are just so ridiculously creepy. We've all been that guy too. Don't get it wrong. Like right. We've all been the guy. Like we want to do some like fucking dumb shit just because it'll be fun to see what happens. But just think in the interest that this will be a production like let's try to just I want to make this very clear. We're not trying to police the situation. I'm trying to police the situation. (laughs) But (laughs) but just be a normal person. And I'm going to you know what? Be a normal dude. I'm going to say it's because it's always a dude. You know what I mean? I've never once in my life had a non-binary or a woman be like, I want to start problems. Sometimes you do, though. Sometimes you do. Okay, but this brings me to number three. Yeah. Don't just sit there. Yeah. Contribute. M- many times, you and I both have had examples where we've had partners in the past mm-hmm. who have been like, yeah, I want to be a part of it. You know, I'm like, <laughs> I'm one of the cool, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get down, you know, and then I'll do nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? That drives me insane. I can't handle that. And then you get targeted by the DM when shit right. happens. Right. And, um... You know, yeah. I I think you've done that to us a couple times where like, uh, you know, one of us wasn't contributing to just be like, hey, you, um, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, for sure. You <laughs> have to. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, hey, you roll for initiative and, and You're in combat. Now. And if you've never done this before, it is in no way, shape or form a way to like pick on you right. or but I, it's for it everyone. Kind of is. It kind of is just because we want you to we want you to do something about it. You know, like we want you to. And and we're not and again like if you want to make the voices or do the silly things like that's cool and all like that but I just think a lot of people get excited for it because they see an episode of Stranger Things and then like <laughs> and and I used to think that it was really complicated mm-hmm. and then we started playing 40k <laughs> like it, yeah. it absolutely does not compare it pales. to yeah it it pales in comparison it literally is just rolling dice and playing pretend and it's the funniest doing thing doing a little bit of math it's a little bit of math but not really uh, the one thing that I had to get used to was just dying for real. Like you just die. Like, <laughs> you they're, gotta they're, make a new. Yeah, you gotta make a new character. I vote that if that happens, if that happens, we have to do some kind of ceremony. I vote uh, Viking funeral. <laughs> <laughs> well, like you just send them off on the boat. Yeah, send them off, and like we'll go like. Where to, are we gonna get all these boats? No, no, no. We'll go like to your neighborhood pool or whatever, like your your complex <laughs> pool. Yeah, and then we'll just do. Oh, like, you mean like in real life? Yeah, in like real life. <laughs> That's funny. You okay, sleepy sleepy head? I thought you were gonna do a full thing of a. Uh, yeah, give me a second. God, Jacob's trying to wake me up with alcohol. Well, that's what you said. You're you're the one that gets all <laughs> sleepy and tired, and I had then to take that shit off because it was. I mean, for oh, God's man. sakes. 
Happy New Year's again, everybody. 2023. Long, crazy year for everybody. Still. Right, give me a fat shot. You want a fat shot? <sighs> All right. So you're going to make a cheers, though. You have to. I want to. Speech. 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 Yes. I'm not going to give you a fat shot. I'm going to give you a shot. Psst. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. The floor is yours, everybody. Uh, er, hold on, we gotta do like a like a like a little ting 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 ting. Okay, the floor. The f- <laughs> Christian has the floor. Why, why do you always do this? To because me? I want you to make a toast for the show. I do everything else. All I want is you to just make a goddamn right, toast. I'll make a toast to Jacob. Okay. All right, because Jacob did really work his ass off to get all the shit for the show, and it's way more equipment that we need. All right, we've got more shit than PewDiePie, I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> we don't. <laughs> you don't think so? No, we fucking don't. I don't know. That dude sits on like a $3,000 chair. Um, <laughs> but we on the camera, please? No, yeah, it has been awesome being the co-host of this show. I have really enjoyed it. It's definitely um, been the highlight of my weeks a lot of times when I'm just getting my ass kicked at work or something. So I do look forward to this once or twice a week. Um yeah, have a great time. Uh, hold on. Uh, it's my turn. Uh-huh. Okay. Are you also doing a shot? Well, no. I'm f- oh, I'll, just, I'll just finish Can my Can we get this off. on camera real quick? Oh, yeah. yeah here. Fucking look at this fucking shit. That's not. Oh, my God. That's not. Oh, that's God. a normal God. shot. Okay. A Sailor Jerry. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I would like to toast to my family in the way that I know that I can be very stressful at times with all of my endeavors. And I know that my sweet, 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 beautiful mother always worries about me and just making sure that I'm not making dumb decisions in life. And I appreciate the fact that she was so kind to let me back in. (laughs) Thank you uh, (laughs) to her home. And for that, I say, thank you. I say thank you to my dad who has been nothing but supportive my entire life. I thank you to my stepmother who has been just like any other mother. She's been in my life for, 21, 22 years now, and I've had nothing but love and support. Thank you to my to our friends. Thank you to our fans. I'm very excited to see what uh, what this brings us this year. And lastly, I want to toast to Christian, more so for the fact that my toast blew his out of the water, and <laughs> I'm more thankful than he is. And I got him Christmas presents, and he didn't give me Christmas presents. Um, but nonetheless, <laughs> to a to a to, right here in the middle to a successful. 2023 to all of you. If all of you are watching this and you're still partying the Friday after New Year's down the hatch, <laughs> salute, my friend. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Let's go throw up. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we don't party anymore. I know. What the fuck? Oh. We're getting old, man. We are getting old. Oh, that made my tummy hurt. My tummy feels all so, high. Uh, Take us some Pepsi. We got a Patreon. <laughs> and we got this uh, episode is sponsored by nobody. Uh, <laughs> um, can I change my answer actually? Because you toasted your whole family and yeah. Well, I told you to make a toast for I 2023. Kinda, I kind of fit back. just to me. No, I like it. You know, keep it because <laughs> keep it because uh, that made me feel special. No, go ahead. No, I was here's just, another shot. I was just kidding. I know. Right? You want to do champagne? <laughs> you got to do a shot again. You want to do champagne? You want to redo toast? Huh? Wanna, do you want to do a better toast and then I'll do a shitty toast? Um, don't touch, don't touch the switcher. Well, did you want to just stay on me while I was just like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I'm proud of the angle that I gave you. <laughs> I look good. I you do. I like you look it. fantastic. The mullet yeah. looks fucking. Sweet. Let's get our champagne ready. Let's do some champagne. Now. All right. Wait, All right. hold on. Let me fucking chase. Yeah, my chase it with beer team. before you have champagne. Yeah, that's that's great. Let's shake this all over the house like we just won the Tour de France. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'll let you do round two. Oh, God. I do not know how to pour champagne. It's always so... I guess that's why they call it the bubbly. Look at that. Bubbly. Much better. We don't have to shot this one, but this is for... All right. Champagne. Uh, Because I... You know what? I do have another toast. I do have another toast. Another one? Yeah. So if you do another one, I want to do another one. Is that allowed? You could you could do multiple toasts. I don't wanna I don't wanna t- do another one. Just hey, mom and dad, <laughs> brother, sisters, son. You watch this in ten years, I'm so sorry. I hope I'm a better man <laughs> by the time you watch this. Um no, just you know, thanks everybody. You guys have all been really supportive. You know, me and Jacob are very fortunate, both have awesome families 
that help us and support us in whatever we want to do. You know, I grew up to be an art student, so what does that say? <laughs> Jacob didn't finish high school, so. <laughs> <laughs> so they're doing a great job. <laughs> That's a good one. I hope my stepfather gets herpes. <laughs> you ruined the family, and I have lost all respect for you. I was told that you watch every single episode, and I hope you watch this one. I pray for your downfall every single day of my life. Oh, my God. To my ex-girlfriend, I hope that you eventually move on. <laughs> I'm not that interesting. Okay? Hey, me too. Hey, you too. So. All right. I promise I'm not out here making money moves. I'm wasting money on this stupid fucking podcast. Move on and smoke a <laughs> joint for me. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Basement Dwellers. Hey, cheers. Tink. Happy 2023. We should have saved that for the end. <laughs> I, feel like I know, now it's awkward. Now they're just going to keep watching us. Here is 30 minutes of silence while me and Christian finish this bottle of champagne. All right. <laughs> yeah. I was about to mute us. Do you have the news talking. banter? I had to get that off my chest. It's <laughs> 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 all right, man. Start the new year fresh. I totally got to start it brand new, man. No, no haters this year. That's my whole thing. No goddamn haters. I mean, you can hate whatever, but I stay. fucking live for the haters. As the late great Tumblr once said, "Jealousy is a disease, bitch." Get well <laughs> soon. Oh, you like that one? I did like that one. What's the other one we heard? Uh, oh, I got another one. I got another one. Hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, I got another one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Dudes out here be saying they're the shit. They ain't even farted yet. <laughs> Salud. 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 Maron. Maron. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yes, I went where no man has gone before. And I uh, <laughs> I can't wait for the 40 of you who watch this to hear my, my burn book. <laughs> All right, Christian, what are we working on this year? What are we working on? What are we, what, what, what is Christian working on this oh. year? Um. Well... Again, just trying to be. I'm better. sorry to cut you off. You either need to look at me or the camera because you looking straight ahead is driving me insane. Stop looking at yourself. It's the same reason. It's the same reason. <laughs> it's the same reason. I, I, lo I love looking at myself. I know I'm you do. Sorry. Here, here go. You know fucking, what I'm going to do? I'm going to oh. fix it this way. There we go. So that way I'm looking right at you and I have. I just lined my beard up all shitty too. Like. <laughs> so what? Are, what is Christian going to work on this year? I'll look at you. <laughs> yeah, look at me. That's awkward. Yeah. Um, I think this year I'm going to definitely try to really save up some money to um, really focus on a lot more art projects. I think last year was kind of like really focused on like spending a lot of money on like Warhammer, <laughs> you know, like just painting and like it, it kind of, you know, scratched that itch. But I think like this year I really want to try to make like some art, like yeah. some real art, you know. Like I was telling you, I was telling you recently, like I want to make you uh, like your like a hundred percent custom base. Yeah, you know, I do want to do that, and it's like I don't think it'll be that hard to do. Um, I know. <laughs> what? It won't be that hard. No, no. <laughs> to make a you know precision. I mean, you made it very clear that you were like, if I got the piece of wood, I'd good. I'd do. No, because this is what I'm saying. Like I stringing the instrument. That's you, man. Right. Or a luthier. I'm sure I could take it to like a good, like fucking guitar center. A luthier. That's what they're called. I could promise you that nobody in guitar center puts on a resume between 2009 you and wouldn't? 2012. I was a luthier. You wouldn't. You're so pretentious. You um, fucking. I'm any. sorry. I Go know the, lumberjacks. I'm sorry. I know the correct words. I'm sorry. For stuff. I'm sorry <laughs> that I. Yeah. You fucking. Nerd. That's us. That's us. Nau folk. Sorry. Um. What would what, what you call them? Guitar techs. Guitar tech? Minimum wage lackeys who do the work for me. Okay. The, <laughs> the guitar techs. Thank you. Um, you know, like I'm saying, like, I will like I would buy the neck, you know, and what's the tuner thing called? What is that called? Okay, so that thing. <laughs> this thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a professional, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I would get that. I would order that in. Right, maybe um, for the top part where you actually tune it, I might like inlay some stuff, like to make it still kind of stylized. But I think the body, this, this right here, mm -hmm. if I just had the lumber, bro, <laughs> like if you just give me a big fucking stack of wood, I could carve the shit out of that and make something super super crazy. 
So I don't know. Like you gave me a few ideas of like, cause like, what? How did it start? Cause I sent you a video of like an artist that had recreated uh, what's her name, Marceline's uh, bass axe. Yeah. From Adventure Time. Yeah. And I remember, I was like, it looks great. You were like, it looks awesome. And I was like, yeah, except for the fucking shitty paint job. <laughs> you know? yeah. And uh, I like that's the thing. It's like I know I know how to achieve this kind of like paint style, right? I could do this. Um, so I think. It would be cool to actually give you like a hundred percent like custom bass, like you know, like like Prince had, you know. He had a guitar, but you know, you know what I mean. No. Uh like just something completely unique to you, like a one of one. Nobody else has one. Shout out Izzy. I got one of those. You do have one of those. You have a guitar like that. The yeah. Valkyrie, baby. That thing's fucking sexy. Very dude. sexy. It is he did such a good job. Shout out gorgeous. to Izzy. Um to Izzy. <laughs> I just want to keep anytime I have champagne in my hand, I just want to make a toast. Totally get it. Yeah. Izzy. Back to my stepdad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> to Izzy. Yes, to Izzy. Cheers. And finally, to me. <laughs> I work hard to be here, okay? I worked hard to deliver great content to all of you. I work hard to make sure the guy to my uh, left here doesn't have to do a single goddamn thing. I work hard. <laughs> I love this show. So proud of it. I would love a bass eventually. So I hope he gives me one. I would like to work on not being so fat always. Just hard. <laughs> just hard because I love to We're eat. We're working on that. Remember we went to the gym that one time? That one time? <laughs> just to just to spite each other. I did it though. You did it. I was very proud of I you. I did it. You were you, you did such a good job. I'm just saying, like, if spite's fueling me, I can yeah. make miracles happen. Oh, for sure. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um no, in all seriousness, I want to work on paying off some debt. I want to get the fuck out of my mom's house. <laughs> With respect, of course. Thank you for letting me live there. Disrespectfully. <laughs> Disrespectfully. Get me the fuck out of you your house. You drive me crazy. No. <laughs> um, I know I drive her way more crazy than... By, uh, than you guys are so... That's the thing. is like it's. It, 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 I think it's so funny like seeing you guys interact with each other because like, you guys are so... You might not like hearing this, but you guys are so similar. Oh, no. I, I agree. You and your mom are the same person almost. And it's f- so funny. Do you like, have an example? It's just like it's just like when like when your mom busts your bust your balls, you know, and it's like I know that you just have like mom vision, you know. Sometimes your mom makes like cracks jokes at you, dude, that are genuinely hilarious. Yeah. You know? Same thing you do with her, same thing you do with me, right? Yeah. Sometimes your mom like busts your nuts like in a way that's so funny. I don't want to talk about my mom busting my nuts. <laughs> Say it in a different way. Sometimes your mom makes now fun. the champagne's kicking in. Now we're having a little fun. <laughs> Sometimes your mom makes fun of you in a way that's just so funny, yeah. and it's like I can tell that you just have like mom syndrome because you're just like, I can't believe she's fucking saying that shit about me. <laughs> like okay. I can't believe this, you know. Like, yeah. um, but it's it's like my mom does the same thing. It's so interesting. My, both my parents. It's so same interesting thing. that you say that though, because I da- I genuinely feel like I'm more like my dad. You have you have a lot of your mom and your dad in you. Like I can say that a different way. Your mom and your dad are both inside you yeah. deeply. Yes. Yes. I like that. <laughs> starting to swell up. What else you got? Um, no, it's just like, yeah, you do have like a lot of qualities from your mom and your dad. I think like from your dad, you get more of like the, like the, the, what would you call it? There's a word for like the ambition. Okay. You get like the ambition part from your dad. Cause your dad, you know, is just Mr. Ambition, right? Yeah. He's like, I'm going to get this money. I'm going to get this body. I get, you know, he's like, I'm going to avoid my family. (laughs) (laughs) I'm on one tonight, dude. (laughs) Uh, But no, like, that's what, like, that's, you know, his whole thing is like, we always associate him with like, he's always working out or like, he's always working, you know, he's just a fucking go getter, I guess, you know? And you definitely have a lot of those qualities, you know, like with the, the, this fucking shit, you know, like you, you, you have a goal and you're doing everything you can to achieve the goal. I'm sorry. I keep trying to make you feel bad. No, it's okay. No, I mean, no, I I don't mean to make you feel bad, dude. It's like this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. I know, I, I I know that, um, our entire life has been like this, Uh, even, even as friends. I mean, this, this isn't something that is it, this isn't new. The only downside is that this is what's cost me actual money. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but since we were kids, I mean, it started with magic. Mm-hmm. You and I learned how to play magic at the exact same time. Yeah. You thought of it as a cool, like, board game kind of thing. What mm-hmm. did I end up doing? 
you spend money and you look treated up, it like the stock market. <laughs> right. And I, and, and I looked up decks and I looked up yeah. like what was, what was popular and like what wins. And I looked at, you know, and, and so it's like, I become obsessed with that. Right. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. One day I'll never fucking forget. You call me one day. What do you say? Jacob, have you ever played Warhammer 40,000? No. And what did I do the entire time you're trying to sell me on it? What did I do? <sighs> what did I do? I did, no, I don't want to play. Yeah. Don't talk to me. You were like, ah, it sounds like a lot of money. I don't want to do that. But then what happens? It's a whole other time consuming thing that I can't really get into right now. But you come to me, to my house immediately. Mm -hmm. And I see, I made the first step and I said, there's a Warhammer store right down the street. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're the one that's like, we should totally go. Yeah. We go there. What do we end up? What do I end up doing? I we, buy it. Yeah. I buy it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I reluctantly buy it. You I bought like, what was it? $150 or something right, like that. Right. You're breaking my mom's heart every time you put a financial value. I'm everything. sorry, mom. You got to stop. You, you know what? You gotta, I'm you, sorry, kid. You got to stop. You got to stop telling people how much money I fucking spend. You got to knock it I off. I did not tell anybody how no. much money you spent. I said one time you spent $150 on Warhammer. Well, then I ended up spending about $2,000 <laughs> on Warhammer uh, because it became super fun. And so like the point I'm getting to is that I have an, an obsessive personality. Yeah. I want to be the best in anything that I do. I'm yeah. obsessed with the best. And this is a joke that we made. Damn, we got a t-shirt. I'm obsessed with the best. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Damn it. That's so good. <laughs> fuck, we got to make that one. shirt. Yeah, we I'm do got to make that I'm obsessed with the best. I love that one. Uh, no, nah, I just, I, I just... Not even well. I mean, I am a I am a sore winner and loser. But th this was the whole thing when it came to the show too. Is that I've been on podcasts when I lived in California, and it's just like it was on a shitty laptop, on a shitty fucking twenty dollar microphone mm -hmm. with shitty nonsense. You you know, it never's gonna get released. And it's like I know there's people out there now. And what frustrates me is that it's just like there's someone out there right now, less than twenty miles away from us, that has. 3,000 followers, maybe 1,000 monthly listeners. You know what I'm saying? And all they have and they're recording is... recording on a fucking iPhone. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so it's just like, I'm here to prove to you I'm better than you. And it's because <laughs> I have all this shit and I'm fucking funny. And this kind of goes to like another resolution of mine where I'm just like, I'm just done worrying about what people fucking think about me. That's like, good, man. Now, you Honestly, can address yeah, concern for yeah. sure. Address concern. You know, I get that. That's fine. But you're just a goddamn hater, bro. Like, don't I don't want anyone telling me you spent how much money on that? Like, go fuck yourself, bro. Like, look at the cool shit that we can do now. Look at this. I'm about to give everyone at home a headache. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> and that's because of me, right? Because I want this show to be the best that it can be, and I want my life to be the best that it can be. So thank you for your kind words. I'm on one right now. I want to go fight. Yeah, I know right you're, you're getting I'm, all I'm, red and I'm, sweaty. I'm ready to go. <laughs> it's the champagne. I didn't feel shit. I know, dude. What is this? What is but, this? Yeah, what is this? this? God. Yeah, God damn. Take another sip. Come on. <sighs> it's that fizzy. The fizzy with the alcohol makes you laugh. All right, Christian. It's like drinking some Mike's Hard Lemonade. Yeah, you want to fight, bitches. What is one thing that you want to uh, let go of this year? What is a bad habit that you want to personally not do anymore? <sighs> Hmm. Bad habit I don't want to do anymore. You know, I think I need to get more. We were talking about this earlier a little bit. I think I need to get more comfortable just spending time by myself. You know, because it's like, I feel like if I don't have anyone to do anything with, I feel like I just don't do anything. And it's like, I do. Like, you, you tell me all the time, like, you know, like, it sucks that you live in fucking central phoenix you know or where, where are we exactly Which, no you're central in, we're in central phoenix yeah, yeah. uh you're like you're always like yo you live in central phoenix you know like kind of like the boiling pot of like culture and shit in arizona yeah and it's it's like yeah i don't you're right i don't appreciate it for what it is like there's lots of fucking cool like international restaurants and fucking bars and nightclubs and shit or like just random ass like fucking stores that I could be going to, and it's like, I fucking don't, dude. And it's like, I'd rather, I, I'll mo at least all last year, I'd rather just sit at home and play fucking video games the whole time. Why do you feel like that is, though? I don't know, man. Honestly, like, I've never really been a much of a, like, I don't really care to, like, or most of the time, I've never really cared to go out and do stuff on my own. I noticed I was, that, that wasn't the case, though, when I was in college. What do you mean? Like, in college, I would straight up just, like, if I didn't have classes that day, I'd just be like, all right, taking the longboard, going to go downtown, find something to do, you know? 
And I would do that, and I would go downtown. I would go into. Well, I think I think that money might be a factor because we're it, adults, and you know we got to save every penny because inflation and yeah. fucking boomers and and um, my step. I'm just kidding. <laughs> child support, God, yeah, yeah. God kidding. damn. It's all right. I love supporting that little numbskull, no, that knucklehead. <laughs> no, um, but uh, yeah, no. It's just like I used to do that. I used to love going out. You know, um, fucking. I don't know what else. I would go like I would go antiquing. By myself, you know, I go to antique shops and just be like, wow, this is cool. I think I have a few items probably somewhere in this room that I bought, like, you know, from back then, you know. So it's like I used to do that. And I noticed I don't do that much anymore. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that two things. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that, yeah, money, you know, and well, three things. Money, Mm -hmm. right? Uh, The fact that I'm not in Flagstaff anymore and not everything is within walking distance. Right. Um, and then uh, my car. <laughs> yeah. My car is honestly a big one because I wanted a lowered car and I got one and it's been a problem ever since. <laughs> so how about this? Because I would like to say something. Uh huh. So why don't you know, you said what you would like to work on for 2023. I would like to comment on it and I'll do the same and you comment on what my thing is. OK. OK. So here's what I have to say about that. Hundred percent. Yes, I think you hit it right on right there. I want you to enjoy you time mm-hmm. that isn't here. Yeah, I'm a firm believer that anyone who is just like I want to sit inside all day and not see the sun and go on my phone on fucking TikTok or iFunny, YouTube, Twitter, just time wasters. Mm-hmm. Like you're not doing yourself a favor. This isn't a me day. A me day. If you don't want to leave the house, is at least at the very fucking least making yourself some kind of even legitimate food. You know what I mean? Like, you know, or go, just step outside for a second. You know what I mean? And this is why I never I never really want to say, like, you know, you need to go outside and touch grass. It's more so just I know that whether you believe it or not, you were a very energetic and extroverted person when you want to be. Yeah. So I think that there are free things to do. You know what I mean? And if they're not free, they're cheap. I know that you're not going to want to go and get blackout drunk and drive home. No, no but, but I I'm could saying, definitely like start saying, going to like first but Fridays you, and shit. But I'm telling you, know? you for fucking sure. Yeah, first Friday, for example. Oh, <laughs> This Friday is first Friday. It is, huh? When this episode comes out, the day that it comes out is first Friday. So maybe if you want to go out on first Friday, maybe I'll come with you. You know what yeah, I mean? We could do that. I think that, that, that was that was actually one of my favorite things. I think things. that once, you know, what's what's the biggest thing for you is productivity. You say I'm very I procrastinate a lot. Yeah. So do I. I mean, yeah. it, it's it's not it's not something that is a crazy thing, you know. It's it's it, you're not some psychopath because you put stuff off. Everybody else does. It's I'll do it later and stuff like that. But I feel like once you give yourself the bubble to go see what's out there, mm-hmm. I genuinely think emotionally and physically, you will feel better. No, I don't think you're. I don't think you're wrong about that. I think like that was that was one of my favorite things to do um, when I went to NAU in Flagstaff was First Fridays because on First Fridays in NAU they have um, or downtown they have um, you know they even have like art galleries and shit where you can just walk in and out like you know like and then they have like food stands and um, what was the place my favorite place in. Downtown Flagstaff was uh, the, 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 I think I told you about it, the, the Crapery. Oh, yeah. Do you remember? Did I take you there? Did we go there once? No, I'm thinking of the Geekery. No, the, the Geekery was cool, but no, there was this place in downtown Flag. I hope they're still there. Um, It wasn't really a restaurant. Well, it was, but. Were we old enough to actually go in there when, when I went to go visit you? That's the thing. It wasn't a place you go into. It's an alley in downtown. Oh. <clears throat> Downtown Flag on some nights, most nights, I want to say, there's these two, like, punk rock chicks, right? One of them's got dreads. The other one's got, like, a mohawk or something, right? She probably smells horrible. They're all tatted up. Probably smells horrible. They were hot. Um, (laughs) (laughs) um, Smells like seaweed. But they set up a thing there, and they have a sign and everything, like a curtain, like, you know, like, to keep, like, bugs out and shit. Like, they have, like, a little seating arrangement, and they just make fucking crepes all night. So you like go there, they have menus and shit. Like they wow. yeah, it was dope, dude. And they had like it's like I don't I thought crepes were just like uh like a breakfast thing or like a dessert thing. You know, but they had dinner crepes too. Like you could get like fucking black truffle tra- like crepes or something like that. Get the or, like, fuck out of here. Yeah, fucking good shit, dude. And it's like I would go there like as often as I could. 
and I took a couple dates there. And people were like, I had no idea this was here. I was like, yeah, dude, because it's like it's so crazy because the only way you can get there is like it's 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 an alley. It's an alley, but there's a spot where like, you know, so you're going through and then the building on the left side just kind of notches in a little bit and they set up right there in that little notch. I fucking love Flagstaff. For the fact that this champagne's kind of making me a little. I got it, dude. Yeah, I'm Are here. You feeling it right I'm now? There. Yeah. <laughs> we should just get addicted to champagne. This is so easy to drink. Fancy. Yeah. You know what it is? It's like wine. When's the last time you had wine? It's been a while, dude. I had wine like a couple couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I was fucked up. Yeah. I can't drink. I can't get get drunk on wine though. I had half a bottle of wine. I thought. I, <laughs> well, I mean, they're not that. Look at look at. We're almost done with the bottle. We've had two glasses of champagne each. But I'm saying mm-hmm. it, it creeps up on you. Mm-hmm. Do you remember at my mom's house, there was that, uh, there's like, she has like that little thing that has like all the little wine bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Dude, out of curiosity, I like looked at them. Mm-hmm. Some of them were like 40 years old. Wow. Kind of want to try some. Do you think she'd get mad at you? I had to tell her. I can't sneak it. Should we call and ask her? How long, how long has it been? Should we call and ask her? call and ask her? Let's call and ask her. We haven't made a call in a long time. We have not made a call in a very long time. I don't think anyone will remember the last time we made a call. <laughs> All right. Well, she can't start hot because I did totally text her. I was like, hey, I kind of said something about my stepdad. <laughs> so she probably. Back when you were making me do one of my monologues. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Let me. Uh... Oh, she's going to be. She's going <laughs> to. She might be pissed. Hold on. Do you have a way to connect it to the. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, you got a second? I have a second. Hey, you're on the podcast, okay? I'm here too. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm in the bathtub. Hold on. I just have a question. Mm-hmm. So we were talking, we were talking, and I and today, out of curiosity, I uh was perusing that little wine section you have. Yeah. Can I can we try a bottle of that one time on the show? They're old, man, and I haven't even like kept them in like a thing you'd normally keep i saw i saw one i saw one today that had like pieces of the cork floating around the bottle Mm, that sounds good (laughs) but can i that sounds good i just want to ask you first can we try Yeah, you can have whatever you want in there to be honest okay oh shit oh Oh, really oh do you want to be the wine podcast now christian (laughs) (laughs) this was uh do do wine tasting they're all dated like i think i think one in there is like 1994 no there was one there was one in there that was 1985 oh wow okay sweet Cool. Yeah, you can. It's all fermented shit now. It's like really gross. <laughs> I thought like wine gets better when it gets older. No, that's only women. Ah. Oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> Your mom got game. You got game, Damn, homie. On the prowl. On the prowl. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey! While I have you, because this is the New Year's episode, uh, Mom, I gotta ask you: What is yeah. one of your New Year's resolutions? To not give a fuck about anything anymore. Hell yeah. Pretty much. That's, fuck that. Fuck the haters, do, right? Do me. That's a woman yep. who knows what she wants. That's right. That's yep. what's up. Well, God bless you, gonna, mother. Gonna fly solo, solo. Hello, hello, solo dolo. I love it. Well, I love you very <laughs> much. Right. I just wanted to give you a call real quick. Thank you for letting us taste your wine. We'll have to do that next episode. Have a great rest of your night. I'll see you tomorrow. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy I love New you. Year. Love you. Bye. Bye. We haven't done that in a long time. That love was you. nice. I love you too. <laughs> You're too short and broke for her. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, you can't. You That's can't. Right. Hang, bro. You can't That's all right. Hang. We're gonna have to try some of that wine though, for sure. We do have to. It's yeah, like, uh, yeah. It's not gonna be what we think it is. No, it's it's, so gonna, gross. it's, so it's gonna be so gross. No, one hundred percent. I pulled out one of those. It was all dusty. That thing hasn't moved in like ten years, <laughs> like for sure. Yeah, but like, what were wine cellars like in the Middle Ages? Well, like, first of all, it was you're, just a room. Well, no, you're right. No, you're absolutely right. But also, keep in mind, it's like she, like what she said. It's like they weren't humidified. They weren't. Yeah, but did they do that back in the day? Um, no. But um, what I'm saying they just hung that shit up on the wall and were like, oh, this one's a hundred years old. Let's try this one. I watched this super pretentious episode of. Um... Oh my god! Can you hit the home button because I'm fucking up here. Just the home button on the top right. Top right. Top right. Okay. Just hit it. There we go. Thank you. Uh Uh-huh. I watched this episode of, like, Vice News. about. First of all, I actually just had this conversation uh, with a friend. Uh, Sommeliers are totally out out their asses. Like, that's not real. Who? Sommeliers. Like, the people who were like, oh, might I recommend a 1985? Is that what they're called? Yeah. (laughs) So we both learned something. I thought you said. No, no, no. Hey, we we both just learned something. What is the the string people? Luthier. Luthier. Oh, sommeliers. Look at that. (laughs) To new vocabulary. 
<laughs> Whatever we can do to drink. Mm. Uh, that was good. Um, yeah, they're called sommeliers. sommeliers. Totally, totally full of shit. A hundred percent. I think that there is. I think that it doesn't take a dumb dumb to understand that white wine tastes better with fish. Red wine tastes better with meat. Meat. Yeah. Right. Like red meat. Yep. But like, if you're like, if you're like, oh, this is a, a 1995 Chateau Papa de Boo Like, you're, like you're you're full. You're, you're full of <laughs> crap. Yeah. It's the same thing. From the vineyards in the terrace of lower uh, fucking Sicily. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we never even got to mine. We never even got to mine. So okay. one one thing that I want to change that I always do. Um, I want to stop freaking out over the dumbest shit. Sometimes I feel like when we talk, thank you. I got it. Sometimes <laughs> do I, you? <laughs> yeah, I got it. All right. Sometimes I feel like when we talk, I feel like your crazy wife. Okay. Like the script. Mm-hmm. Christian didn't do a script. I told him to do a script. <laughs> he had one fucking job. I ha- I had a job. Okay, so because we just launched the Patreon, right? Shout out to what's the name? Cruz. 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 <laughs> what's that one fan that we have? What's that one guy that <laughs> yeah. watches our show? The, hey, hey, uh, hey. Thanks for the five dollars, bro. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, where's my half? Where's my half? Oh, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> You ain't getting no half for like three Give years, bitch. What the fuck? No, I, I, I did say that. Like Jacob can just take all the money until he pays off all this <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, uh, so what was I saying? Yeah, it's the script. The script. Okay, so since we just launched, launched the Patreon, me and Jacob want to do like a little like fucking commercial pretty much. the Just to like put an, at about the, like the halfway point or something yeah. of every episode just so that way, you know, you guys are reminded that we have one. And we're accepting money <laughs> right, to help us, uh, you know, bring higher production to you. And this guy doesn't fucking, you know, end up in the poor house. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be homeless. <laughs> I don't know. You said you wanted to live in a van for a while. So bad. Oh, can I say that's my resolution for 2023? To live in a van? I want to live in a van so bad. Is that what you have to say? That's the negative thing you have to say where I'm like, I want my resolution, I want to live in a van. And you're like, here's why you shouldn't live in a van. I could give you tons of reasons why. No, you're you wrong. Live in a van. I want to live in a van so bad. Vanning. Um Vanning. It's called van life, you oh, fucking fuck. boomer. No, okay. Vanning Vanning is actually <laughs> Stop saying vanning. It's not called vanning. No, vanning is a different thing, and that's when you're in the like the race car. Uh, we're not talking about we'll move on. We're not talking about this. Talk about the fucking you script. Make a van. Oh, you're so pretentious. Talk about the fucking script. So I was supposed to make a script, and I and what 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 didn't you do? I didn't make the script. <laughs> One more time. I I I didn't make the script. No, you your didn't. honor. And you had two extra days to do it, and he didn't do the script. <laughs> and it's no big deal. That's the whole thing. It's no it big deal. It was never a big deal to it begin with. It was never with. a big deal to begin with, but I was very upset. So <laughs> going back, to, I'm, I'm, so I'm actually, I'm returning on. back to I'm what Jake was saying. I'm scaldingly upset. I'm fucking furious. If I'm being honest with you. Um, <laughs> I'm really upset that he didn't do it, but I will say that it's not the end of the world. And I have this problem where I keep saying that I don't have anger issues, but I think I secretly do. So I think that my goal for 2023 is to just understand that it's not the end of the universe. You smell the goddamn roses and you move on. Just smell the roses, man. I just can't handle... I can't handle how nonchalant you are about everything. It's, and it's, but it's okay. But it's not a bad thing. But it's not a bad thing. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, in most situations, it's it's not a bad thing. You uh-huh. know what I mean? I'm saying that in a way where you're just like, dude, relax, right? <laughs> right? The wave. You know what I mean? Like, and 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 I have so many friends that are just like, dude, relax. Like, just let this, like, let it happen. Let life happen. I just don't want to be so high strung this year. Dude, it's I I this is the thing though. Okay? This is what I'll say. This is why you and I are such good friends. Right? Because comedically you and I are on the same level, right? I would say you and I just understand each other and we find shit funny that nobody else would find funny and you and I can make jokes to each other that like nobody else is going to get it, right? Like we have a lot of inside jokes and shit, you know, movie yeah. references, cartoon references. It's like more than 80% of our jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Not funny to anyone. We've else. done them on the show sometimes and I'm sure they haven't landed. Yeah, like um 100%. But um I think that it's also so it's like that level of like similarity. Yeah. keeps us friends, but it's also that dichotomy of like you're so high strung and 
like ambitious yeah. and i'm so like i i because like it, it goes so far to like where i also obsess over things right like i obsess over things but i never ever follow through with them right you always do right i appreciate that about you because i'm like i would have never thought fucking two years ago that this is the shit we would have been working with you know? I was gonna say I remember two years ago sitting on a fucking you know dinner table you know with a cell phone across the room and telling like, everyone that I was half gay. Yeah, I remember that too. Thanks. I did that too. Yep, remember, Jacob's half gay. Yeah. Don't forget. <laughs> we went um, to we went to a bar in downtown Chandler and we were talking about the way that we wanted this mm-hmm. podcast to go. Yeah, and it's like look at us now. Yeah, dude, it's 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 definitely. I don't give up, and it's like I think that's what you do appreciate about me. It's definitely a noticeable advance from where we were. Okay. Excuse me. Um, but it's our show. You don't I have think... to say that. <laughs> Just burp. That's Fuck what you. I do. Yeah, I'll fart right now. <laughs> but it's like I think it's like we have this also. We also have this habit of like holding each other accountable. You know, where like you'll make me, you'll make me feel like you'll straight up say some things to me like when I don't follow through with something like like kind of how you're doing right now <laughs> where you'll be like oh you I didn't. need witnesses <laughs> yeah. where you'll be like oh well you didn't fucking do that well that's fucking you know well yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. <laughs> you know um and I'll do the same thing to you <laughs> I'm such a bitch about it dude. it's all right it's all right <laughs> I'm just like fucking oh my god <laughs> it's like you're my unemployed husband <laughs> And you and you come home from your friends, and I'm like, hey, honey, how was the job search today? And you're like, oh, you know, I just uh, football was on, so I just <laughs> and I was like, and I'm like, oh, oh, okay, well, you know, oh well, you, you know. know, yeah, it's fine. You were home all day, yeah, so, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I I I 100 percent get it, and I don't have any good excuse. I had all night to write a script, and I played Pokemon. So. <laughs> Um, by the way, I have a Annihilate now. That was hard to get. Um, awesome. I also have a King Gambit so and a cool. Gudra. That's so cool, man. Also hard to get. Ah, uh, <laughs> damn. So, but no, you're right. What I, I'm saying is, yes. yes, we're really good at holding holding each other accountable, right? Because now, because I don't want to hear you bitching me again, I'm gonna go make a script and <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I get it done. See, but we hold each other accountable on different things. Whereas, like, I, you know, it's just like, look. On the record, I've said this multiple times, where I personally believe that, like, look, dude, it's my equipment. I really have no problem, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. getting all this stuff and editing, you know. You yeah. know you know, I know, I mean that, right? It, But it, at the same time, it's just like it's like little things where it's like when you can help me, it would be cool. But the way that, like, like you know, again, going back to where you said that we hold each other accountable, you kind of do it more like on an emotional thing where it's just like, no, 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 you said. Because what is my one of my biggest weaknesses is that I backpedal. Mm-hmm. Like you know, paying you for the show, right? Sure. There's been multiple times where I'm like, well, do I really need to do that? And it's more so like, hey, 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 you said. Okay, so. So maybe that's another thing I need to work on too is that I'm very no, wishy-washy. No, okay, so like going back on that thing, like, again, um, going back, I know I bring it up every episode. I was a car salesman. <laughs> and, yeah, so it turned into where, for a period of time, it ended up being like, we're like, I don't know. I was able to, I don't know if I can commit to doing the show because I've got other responsibilities, other things to worry about. Right. And Jacob has suggested like, what if I pay you to do the show? I do get paid to do the show by Jacob. All right. Don't disclose how much. Huh? Don't disclose. Don't disclose? Yes. Don't disclose how much. Anyway. Oh, no, I'm not going to disclose how much. Fuck. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I do, I, I, do receive a little bit of an income from the show. And um, that was because for a period of time, like, you know, Jacob, Jacob needed a host, a co-host. And I was, I was willing to help. I was, I was, you know, I'm always there for you. I've always wanted to be the co-host, you know, preferably not a, a real sexist one. You just kind of <laughs> joke about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what? One of my biggest regrets is that I never saved that footage. I wish I would have just, just because, but anyways, continue. I'm, uh, dude. I'm out for blood tonight. You I'm are, sorry. I have so much. You fucking are burning th- some bridges I tonight, so, bro. Burn some bridges. They can all go fuck themselves. Are you <laughs> serious, dude? Don't fuck up my show. You're right. You're right. You're right. No, you're right. Right. But again, so I came back to do the show, and I've you know been the happy co-host ever since. Uh, again, saying like, you know, it turned into like a business transaction between us, yeah. right? And we're friends, and we understand each other. Um, you had suggested like I'm gonna pay you. To, I I can pay you to do the show because I know it takes a lot out of your day, and I was like, yeah, that's fine. 
Um, but yes, you did pack pedal one time. I'll say one. It was one time, you know, where you were like, "Hey, man, like, this is happening and this is happening. I don't know if I can, you know, pay you for the show anymore." You know, and I was like, "Hey, man, like, I don't know. You you are my best friend, but I'm also like very much like." Well, take no shit. I mean, you just take no shit, but also like, you know, I was like, you know, there's it, it, it's, it's not good business to offer an income and then just be like, hey, why don't you just do this for free? Right. You know, I agree. And that was one of those things, again, like not to make it awkward. Yeah. We're fine. We're still friends. Always. Um, well, you and I, you and I can get into I are, screaming. Matches. And I are OK. No, we're right. built. We're, yeah, we're built different now. You but, and I can well hold on. You and I can get into like screaming matches and we're fucking fine. We yeah, haven't, but yeah. I'm just saying that like we just have that thing where there's you know. So that was what it was. Again, just me holding Jacob accountable, saying, "Hey, I understand, and if circumstances were different, I'd be happy to do that." But you did offer me offer to pay me for the show, so just based on principle, based on just good business practices, if you choose to stop paying me for the show. I unfortunately can't do the show anymore. Right? I do want to I did want to keep doing the show. Of course. You know, it was just one of those things. It's just like, hey man, like I can't I can't let you think again, this is nothing against Jacob. I don't want you guys to think me and Jacob aren't cool. <laughs> me and Jacob love each other. Um, I'm gonna start crying. I don't know. It was just one of those things. It was just like, you know, hey, like I can't yeah. continue to do the show if I was receiving money for the show and now I'm not. Yeah. That being said. If we do get a technician, <laughs> like I told you, I said, I, 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 I get paid to be on the episode. Yeah. Right. I get paid to set up, which I'll still do. But that being said, a technician on the show, is going to do way more work than I'm ever going to do. <laughs> yeah. So I, like I said, I'm happy to forego that, you know, so if we ever do get a technician, I'm happy to forego that and they'll receive the funds that I was receiving. In order to do the fucking pain in the ass work that they're gonna have to do, so I wouldn't call it pain. Your job's not, still gonna be pretty it's not fucking a pain easy. In the ass. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just trying to like fucking. Yeah. Like, no, the biggest like burden is up. still on me, <laughs> cocksucker. I don't care who the fuck. Ask, ask, yeah. ask for more. Yeah, is what I don't I'm care saying. who. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you no. I'll fucking keep doing it, even though I'm fucking up these camera angles right now. I'll still fucking do it. But no, I understand. <laughs> no, it's just yeah. No, I I understand. Like so, at this point, it's like again, I'm receiving the money because that's just what the deal that was made. Yeah, but. Again, I also making a deal with Jacob. If we get a technician, I won't make any money from the show. I'll keep doing the show. Not yet. But we'll, we need a technician. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. How about this? Not you. <laughs> not, not you. Yeah. You you get you get your you know your <laughs> stipend, which we'll discuss. Uh, uh applicants, please email tbdmanchild at gmail.com and we'll definitely uh talk about your stipend and you will absolutely I, I expect to not get a response from you when I tell you how comedically low it is. Um, but, but, you know, again, I know I made it sound like, yeah, I'm, like yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm living off yeah, this you made show. It, you made it sound I'm like I'm living off the show yeah. and he like, he pays for all my groceries and <laughs> my, I don't even have to worry about yeah, an electric bill. Not, Fucking yeah, electric yeah, bill, definitely. bro. This is not your, it's your not free that. ticket to the high life. That's for it's goddamn not sure. That. It's not that. So let's say this. I'm going to have to wrap up soon. Mm -hmm. What is one thing that you would like to accomplish this year what is your what is your goal that you started working on this year mm -hmm. and you want to continue i'll start first and i'll say because this is a very blanketed statement from the both of us my goal i'm very proud of my 189 subscribers yeah i would too. like to see a thousand subscribers by the end of the year oh that is my goal i would like to see 1000 of you fellow basement dwellers uh that tune in every single week that is my absolute goal and i cannot thank you guys enough for liking sharing commenting subscribing all the things that good fans do. And I believe that by the end of the year, we will have at the very least 1,000 uh, basement dwellers along with us. Now, now uh -huh. that I've said that, uh -huh. the personal ones. Uh -huh. Personally, I want my own place. <laughs> That's my fucking goal. Uh, I don't want to live with a girlfriend. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't want to live with my mother. Uh, my goal by the end of the year is to be in my own place. Um... I want to be financially stable enough to with do that. Christian. Yeah, with Christian, yes. That would be also another goal of mine. Um, Got a pay raise at work. Thank you. Shout out. You know, appreciate it. And I would like to hope that eventually. I'm that also getting a raise. Oh, hell yeah, man. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Oh, cheers to that. Tink. Absolutely. Tink. But I would like to be more independent again. 
I believe it's definitely time to leave the nest again. And I would like to say, <laughs> yeah, I would like to say that I'm laughing, but I can't talk. <laughs> no, I've okay. been back to my parents I would like, like to three see times. More, I would like to see more independence for sure. Uh, that is my ultimate goal: uh, is to be more independent. What about you, buddy? What is your What is your goal? That something that you were kind of struggled with this year, and something that you're looking to accomplish by next year. So yeah, um, like I said, definitely going back to being like you know getting you know some actual real artwork done. Um, I will be if I make fucking real artwork. I'm definitely gonna sell it. So if you guys want some cool artwork, my stuff is super dark and scary. <laughs> um, it'll look great in your house. It'll definitely DVD manchild at gmail.com. I will absolutely gladly, if you were in the in, in the mood for some art, I will absolutely send you a link uh, to a couple pictures I'll have Christian send out. And maybe we should start posting some on the Facebook uh, I should on start Facebook posting them, yeah. You know? some or, you know, I have around. Twitter. We have Instagram. You know, we could definitely do that. Yeah, definitely commission some art for me. I'm happy to do it. Um also, I know this question kind of seems like one we've already answered where it's kind of like, yeah, what do you want to do? I'm bit. saying, what is something that you have worked on this year that we were kind of slacking in and you want to accomplish more? Let's let, let's exclude the art I mean, thing. Well, I mean, well, that's like my, well, well, that's like my whole thing. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I, I think like in, in regards to like the show, like, yeah, I, I it would just be the Dungeon Dwellers thing. I really want to. You know, that's like my brain, my brainchild, you know, like that I think would be fun to do. Um, so I really want to commit to just getting a, a consistent party together. Um, I want to make a few things like, again, go back to art. I want to make a few like art pieces to just have like around like I want to make like a tap. Like my, my, my thing was like I wanted to have like a tavern yeah. sign, yeah. you know, like a little dangly like wooden like driftwood sign to cool. have like while we did the episode. A better set. Yeah. A better set would be awesome. Um, custom sign neon sign something really that's my goal right here i would ever sign. since you told me about it i want a neon sign so bad for the show so bad that would be cool i would love a neon sign for the that show would be really i am cool. weirdly i'm obsessed with neon signs I, no they're cool they like, give off a yeah. cool vibe i mean I, I, i'm just saying like i'm talking like I, give me a budweiser sign you know give me this like is, a, this is just like my house yeah yeah <laughs> yeah this okay. is just this is decor this like is this just is just how yeah. my house looks yeah. um it, it, yeah it's fucking sick but um, it's very sick uh yeah it's just like our house decorations so like we want to have like uh you know a backdrop a whole thing like for the the show itself you know we want to have it to be as immersive as possible um so yeah, eventually the basement dwellers thing. Eventually, you know the the product. Again, we're just keep going on to the production value of the basement dwellers, dude. <laughs> like this is all I care about. The show's is, just going is, sky high, dude. We're going to the top. Yeah, this is the only thing um, mm -hmm. I think about, and I just want everybody to just understand that anything that I do in my life is, um, you know is for me, is for you guys, <laughs> and uh, I just uh, <laughs> want to say that I'm so happy what we did this year, and I'm so proud of all everybody. Everyone is amazing. Thank you so very much for everything that you've done for this show. I love you so very much to more drinks, to more beers, to more stories, to more drugs, to more... <laughs> Everybody here who's with the Basement Dwellers right here, right now, I want to see you here 10 years from now. We're on our way. We're on our way, baby. That's all I got to say. We're going to make it to the top. Fuck Joe Rogan. Fuck all the other podcasts. Fuck everybody. Fuck Big Winfest. Fuck, I don't know, fuck Ben Shapiro. Fuck Kamala Harris. Anyone, we're here for you. We're here for us. I'm here for him, and we love you very much. With that being said, happy motherfucking 2023. I love you so goddamn much. Down the hatch. <laughs> Have a wonderful night. Tip your waitress. Get home safe. <laughs> I love you. I love you, and I love me, and we will see you next fucking year.
you like what you heard, type into their Instagram and Twitter. The information's right below with their email. It's time you bit the bullet and started caring about something with all your heart and energy. Be sure to log into the channel by subscribing and check out the previous episodes. Bye. But until then, we'll see you next week with a new one. We out for now. We out for now.